Welcome to the Arctic, the tiffy top of the world and Svalbard. Ever heard of that before? I hadn't. Like most people, before coming here, I had no idea. The Arctic actually covers eight countries. I sort of had an image in my mind of an explorer racing to plant a flag in the middle of a glacier with a polar bear bringing up the rear. Well, now that I'm here, I realise it's full of wildlife mega flora and fauna, we are experiencing the sheer wonder that is at the top of the world. Our Arctic island voyage kicks off in the remote little town of Longyearbyen, the capital of the Norwegian Svalbard archipelago. We are about halfway between the Norwegian mainland and the North Pole and the complete isolation that is all part of the charm. Our home for the journey is the ultra-luxurious scenic eclipse, and with a fleet of zodiacs on board, we will be spending plenty of time exploring the sights. Do you still get excited? About this? Yes. How could you not? It might look not so much, but once you're there, there is it's a different world. Where exactly are we? We're approximately 130 nautical miles north of the fjord system of uh, Longyearbyen. And uh, we're in a fjord called Crossfjorden. And uh, this particular place is called Signahamna. Welcome to Signahamna. Um, it's a cultural heritage site. So we'll stick with a tight group and we'll head down that way once everybody's in. As well as being the home of a former weather station, this remote little island is also home to some of the Arctic's favourite wildlife. We're talking a lot about scat. Poop. Excuse me, this is what I've just learned. That, that is reindeer poo. I just learned that. Reindeer poo. Arctic is a frame of mind. We don't really see a lot until we look really closely, OK? But I don't understand why there's a weather station there. During the Second World War, so the Germans erected a weather station here in 1941. It was operational between 41 and 42. Why here? Because the weather is really unpredictable up here. Lots of ice, lots of fog, hard to travel in. Because they all travel by ship, submarines. And so this weather station sent out uh, information to the whole German fleet, essentially. Well. I don't know who was born under a lucky star, but we have just spotted not one, but two reindeer. Apparently they're males, because the antlers are so large. I feel like we've hit the jackpot on day one. Wasn't expecting that. From wildlife spotting in the most isolated parts of the world to wallowing in six-star luxury on board, this journey will cater to even the fussiest of adventure lovers. Calling the world. I kind of love how each of the suites just feel very cosy. It's like you're in a little cocoon. But also, being a ship, everything is practically thought out, every detail considered, like the way the suitcases just disappear underneath the bed, or what looks like a mirror. It's a TV, so maybe if you can't make it down to the theatre for a lecture, boom, watch it from your room. Everything is covered, Wi-Fi throughout, of course. But you know what is my favourite thing in each room? I love the binoculars. Trust me, on a discovery voyage, these will be your best friend. Helps to take the lens cap off. From the palatial space of the Panorama Suite to the spa suites and the deluxe veranda suites, this is exactly the kind of indulgence guests have come to expect from scenic. Obviously, in our 20s, we've done the tourist trails, we've done the backpacking, and now we're at a point in our lives being retired, we can actually enjoy remote locations, but comfortably. Yes. Where there is the hot shower. <laughs> and the good eating at the end of the day. <laughs> nice glass of wine. And a nice glass of wine, of course. Very few people get to go to the poles, so um, whether it be north or, or south, to get into those regions is, is incredible. To do it, uh, 
in, in this sort of surroundings is, is absolutely amazing. I'm really uh, happy to be, uh, to be on board uh, with all of you. With our wonderful Captain Irwin at the helm and the Discovery Yacht of our travel dreams, it's impossible not to get excited about the days ahead. First few days and then we're going to head uh, towards uh, Greenland, finishing with Iceland. So very, very diverse journey ahead of us. She, uh, she's been built for the polar waters, so not only she's beautiful and, and very luxurious and very spacious, but she's been built for polar waters. Mm -hmm.